Hello, hello, hello. This is part one, 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 technically one, but it's two, but it's part one of my NCT 127 fat check unboxing. I might be going, hey, why do you have as minis and not your regular album versions from K-Town? And you know, I have to say that I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, S minis are so notoriously delayed by SM, both on K Town with their shipping, um, and then also just the release date of them. I honestly am not 100% sure why these arrived, and I don't have any tracking information, no shipping information, nothing yet for my other fat check order. But we have these, um, and then we also have two of the. I don't know, American department store versions. Sounds kind of funny, but the American department store versions of Fat Check Digipack. I do have like the full member sets for these um, Digipack, or I guess they're poster versions now because they're just weird posters folded. I do have full member version sets of those coming from K-Town. I did go all in on member versions and such for this album, seeing as NCT is my old group. And I'm pretty sure this is the last OT9 we're going to have before, um, at least before Taeyeon goes in and enlists, and potentially Taeyeon. I don't know what when Taeyeon does an enlist, but I guess it would be kind of nice if they just enlist it together. So anyways, we're gonna look at these. I've already opened these. I was sick the day that I bought them, or recovering from being sick. Um, and I just need a little bit of joy in my life. So in the process of buying them, I opened them in my car. I had no intention of actually opening them up on camera. Um, and then I got my S minis in the mail and not my other versions. And I would like a little bit of something to pad this video too. So, you know, I'll show you guys the contents of these. So this, this is the Walmart version. Of course, the version only matters based on the type of photo card you get. And because I have a duplicate of this now, I will have duplicates of these photos, this poster, what not. I almost wonder, uh, I do love this concept. First off, let me just say, love this concept. They look so fucking rich and like wealthy and affluent and just like rich, luxurious, that kind of rich. <laughs> not like, ooh, they got money because we all know, hmm, hmm, <laughs> we have to say we all know with the EDSO and the SM stuff. They probably don't have money, but they do have some money. But anyways, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> oh, that amused me. But yeah, they look rich. Um, but I do kind of wonder, do you think one day, and they probably won't, but do you think one day SM might just wind up putting every single member onto a poster and do like, I don't know, a regular poster as opposed to these like weird quadranted posters. Oh, you know, I say that, I guess the NCT Dream one from ISTJ was all of them, but it was kind of like a collage. I'm thinking more of just give me your 32 inch poster thing, whatever, just print it onto here. I don't think I need quadrants of the members' faces. But that's just me. <laughs> um, we're actually gonna look at this checklist, even though this is a large piece of paper because this is the first ones that I'm opening. So we don't get to talk about the track list in part two. So I probably will. Anyways, Fat Check, love the title track, love Fat Check. I don't know if Fat Check is my favorite NCT title track. I kind of have a big, 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 big soft spot for sticker. Um, Controversial to some people who are not in citizens, and maybe some in citizens, but whatever. <laughs> I like that. Space. Space is so good. Every time it kind of goes like, I don't, uh, I don't want to say quiet, but like it kind of gets into this like low, rumbly, bassy kind of like soft sound, and then they just do the space part. So good. Love space. Parade, I do love Parade. I think I saw someone on Instagram, I wanna say, call Parade the sister of Skyscraper. And I do think Skyscraper is like up in like my top five NCT songs for at least for 127. I was gonna say for the whole group, but that would be a lie because NCT U has my absolute favorite discography. But 
top songs. Parade is good. Parade does not hit in the same way that Sky Straper hits for me, but I do like Parade and I think it'll grow on me more, but not quite the Sky Straper energy, but close. Angel Eyes, I am so sorry to all the Angel Eyes lovers. I think they look great in that little track video, archiving video, music video, whatever they did for it. They, they look visually great. I do not like this song. Um, I don't mind kind of like more rocky vibe stuff or like new age, like pop rock, whatever. Don't mind that. This just honestly feels like a One Direction song. And I say that as someone who kind of got into One Direction a little bit back when they had become four, the four member group. And it just feels like it's pushing me back into that time. And that's not really the music that I listen to anymore at all. So all credits to people who love Angel Eyes. I can see how you can love Angel Eyes, but it is not the vibe for me. Yacht is so much fun. Yacht is one of those that I'm adding 100% to my K-pop summer playlist, but that also means I skip it more often, um, just in general, whenever it plays in the car, because it does have that like happy, like poppy sort of, poppy, whatever, um, <laughs> summer vibe. So not my exact favorite, but it's very good. Je ne sais quoi, so good. So, 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 so good. I I think I saw someone say, ooh, I wanna listen I wanna learn French just for this song. I'm like, that's a bit over the top, people. All they say is je ne sais quoi. It's I don't know what. Um, that's all they say. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think you I don't think you need to learn French for it. But if you want to, you know what? Take this as your inspiration. <laughs> but je ne sais quoi so much fun especially when you know the timing to it and it goes it goes down like we're another one we're another one je ne sais quoi it's just it's so good very very enjoyable to listen to in a car love is a beauty super pretty song um i don't listen to it as often but it is one of those where when it shuffles i'm not skipping it i just have so many songs on my playlist that if i'm requesting siri to play a certain song for me I'm not requesting her to play this one. I'm requesting something like Misty or Je ne sais quoi, a parade or something like that. Um, but now that I said Misty, we'll go to Misty. Misty, I think is my absolute favorite song on this album. Something about the way that it opens, the instrumentals and like the rain sounds, the thunderstorm sounds, just the way that it opens, beautiful. I don't know, I know the other songs have opened like this. It feels like, a 1980s soundtrack song to some sort of like hero like coming of age um you know defying all odds kind of movie at least with how it opens and stuff into like this like crescendo of the actual song so good i love misty real life i really like real life too it's another one like love is a beauty i'm not actively requesting it to be played but i don't skip it when it comes on i do enjoy it um, and I like the, the, like, repetitive, the real life, real or real, real life, that kind of stuff. I like the repetitive parts. But this album, very solid. Very, very solid. Hope you all are enjoying listening to it as well. Now, since I talked for a bit, we are on the Walmart version. So just a heads up when we get the card, it'll be the Walmart version. Here's the CD from this version. Do a little zoom in. Ooh. I guess all CDs kind of have that iridescent shine, but for some reason it feels more special on this. <laughs> but yeah, pretty, pretty simple. Nothing too special about that. Then we're gonna look at these. So it looks like we have some stickers. Love a good little sticker sheet. And we have the uh, postcards and because these are um, global ver global versions, group versions, whatever you would like to call it. They are randomly chosen. He's so cute. Ooh, 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 wait. Okay, I don't have a bias line technically, but if I was to say like general faves right now um, for 127, well, I, I would claim to always be OT 20 and I guess with NCT new team, I'll probably become OT 26. 
While I do claim that, I would say as of right now, like top faves for 127 are Taeyeon, Johnny, <laughs> Jeonwoo, and Yuta. And I actually, when I was not OT20 bias and I was still learning, these were, this was my initial bias line. This was my bias line for one, for NCT. It was Johnny and Guta. And then I start learning about others and then I developed a huge respect and soft spot for Taeyong and freaking love Jungwoo. I have the biggest soft spot for him. He just, he has such a special place in my heart. And yeah, I, I'm very happy with this. For four random members, I don't think they could have chosen anyone better. Now we're gonna look at the photo card. And because I've already seen this and I told you that, when I open this up in my car, I go, oh, Jungwoo, Jungwoo, look at him. Swear to God, I was just like, oh, look how sweet. It's also because of the way they packaged the album. You just like flip it open and he's right there. And I was like, well, oh, okay, cool. Nice to see you show up after talking about how much I love you. So thank you, Jungwoo, I appreciate that. Now, other than that, I'm not going to put that back in. We're just going to move on over to the Target version. Because we can also do the... Oh, see? See, this is what I'm talking about. If I completely spoiled that for you, I'm sorry. But, you know, it's the same same basic stuff. We got the same CD, same poster, same stickers. We got some different uh, postcards. We got Tail, Doyoung, Heichan. Um, I'm assuming that I'm only supposed to get four. So we have a manufacturing error. This is a beautiful manufacturing error, so that's great. I'm going to immediately slide one of those into my large inclusions <laughs> drawer. Just immediately one will get to be put up somewhere in my house. But yeah, hey Chen, and another Jungwoo. So am I only missing Mark and Jaehyun? Let's see. Yeah, you can't see them all, but I'm only missing Mark and Jaehyun, so not too concerned about that. Um, though maybe for fun, if I feel like it one day, I might go out and see about purchasing one more of these global card card <laughs> global poster versions. So. You probably already saw it. We got Utah, but we love Utah. Utah is so, so fun. And Utah has been killing it on Weverse. I had talked about this with a couple of friends, but as someone like Utah, who I would not expect to be on Weverse and like actively like talking with fans, stuff like that, he is killing it on Weverse. I think he, even he didn't expect to be probably on Weverse this much. But I love that he's like the Weaver's captain. So I'm very glad to have his card. And that is it for the poster versions. So I'm gonna pull over these little S minis. Zone, zone, zoom out a little. Um, and we're gonna start with our fearless leader, Taeyong. Super pretty. I love this hair. Though I do kind of wonder, why does why did they give him so much? Why does he have so much in the front? Is this his normal hair? Did they clip in some some hair to him? Because it feels like they might have clipped some extra hair. Ooh. Let's do a little zoom. What's he holding? I cannot tell. Is that a jewelry box? I just feel like he has a lot of hair in his eyes. I mean, I know that was intentional, but is that his real hair? Did they clip something in? Did they cut his hair to look like that? I'm a little confused. Okay, there's the inside. So I'm gonna make the assumption right now, and we're not even gonna check, that all these are gonna look the same. So this little guy is gonna always be this little fat check white. This is the outside. Then we have this. The back, the front. Ooh, oh, sorry, that was so blurry. Ooh, look at that. Who, who is this? Who's that eyeball? Oh, we got tail. Poor tail. 
we're gonna we're gonna get into some tail stuff here in a little bit but when did he take this photo when when was this taken who made him take this photo was this before he died to his accident sm when did he take this photo you know it's a question that we all must ask ourselves especially after the fuck up that they did and speaking of their little fuck up we're gonna go into tail <laughs> So this is Tail. We love him. We love Tail. I freaking love Tail. Do not take what I'm about to say wrong. But if they did not have a photo to use for this, SM should have made something fucking work and not made him take a photo when he was still in recovery. Because we all saw this little teaser where his little bloody healing yellowish knee was visible and then they didn't crop it or airbrush it out or anything. People are now aware, just like me, that he was taking photos for this comeback while still in recovery. Now, possibilities. One, SM made him come in and take photos because they didn't have anything to work with for this and they liked money and they wanted him to be included. Though I would say the wanting him to be included in the album is a side effect of, of SM and it's not actually SM's pr like prerogative. I don't think SM cares all that much about him. I think he needs a solo. He, his voice is too beautiful to not have a solo. Other option, Tail loves his fans a lot. We know he loves his fans a lot. He has said it handfuls of times. Um, so it's very well known. Tail loves his fans. He wants to be there and, you know, do good for his fans. So maybe he chose to come in. I know that there were some uh, images that had leaked or like one image that leaked Okay, we are gonna check inside. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the same. One image that had leaked that showed him um, outside with crutches, but getting like a fresh breath of air. And I know he is still in recovery and I hope he recovers well. And I hope that we're able to see him at least a couple more times in person before he has to enlist. But did he do this? Did he, did he make this decision or did SM say, hey, we need you to come in and take these photos. And I hope I am not wrong and I hope that I am wrong in my assumption that SM is just constantly shitty for no reason. I mean, they are shitty and I don't think that they care about the members of their groups that they believe are not sellable. I think that there was some stuff with uh, Taeyeon with his solo that he, like SM was on the fence about it. At least maybe I heard, I heard this, that SM might've been on the fence about it because they weren't sure that Taeyong was sellable. Are we insane? <laughs> you mean the leader of NCT 127 and all of NCT would not sell to N citizens? Are we dumb? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. That's just my little rant. So while we're opening these, let's just think about Taeyong and hope that he is getting better and that if he was forced to take these photos that he was able to rest. Ooh, I will, <laughs> and if not, then he's still doing better in healing. They, Doyon Sarah, who sprayed his neck blue? Who did not get this off? Was this a stylistic choice? Poor man has a blue neck, but that's okay. We love Doyon. <laughs> and it seems like maybe they sprayed it on and it just couldn't come out of his skin and it was just dyed blue for this, or maybe they didn't notice it. <gasps> Ooh, okay, Doyon. Okay, Doyon showing up in Doyon's album. <laughs> I love his little pose when he when he holds his chin. It's super cute. Oh yeah, and while I was ranting, you saw we got tail and tail, so that's okay. Um, we're gonna do Hachon next. I'm kind of curious to see what happens when tail and tail enlist. Or we I mean, I assume we're going to be doing what. Etso has been doing when their members have been enlisting and we're going to get um, combats from NCT 127 but without the full group. Ooh, 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 uh. <laughs> but I don't know, I kind of just want them to do like solo projects and like, form some more subunits, like a couple of subunits and just kind of move away from some of these uh, full group activities, especially because it just doesn't feel the same when your leader is not there. 
But I don't think I, I don't think SM cares. I think SM knows us and citizens will probably buy whatever. Um, as they've shown with the 4,000 merch drops they did. So, yeah, I don't know. I also, I'm not sure where I'm going to be buying my albums from anymore. I'm going to slow down a little bit on purchasing. And that is really because as of right now, um, K-Town for You, which has always been my go-to site for purchasing on, has changed their like little fan club policy for discounts, or at least it seems seems like they changed their discount Ooh, we love member variety i probably just jinxed it but that is okay we got jay <laughs> jay <Hyun. laughs> um but yeah i saw that k-town has changed it or at least some of their fan club discounts if not all are only between like 24 and 30 percent and most that i'm seeing are looking to be 24 percent which is a little bit unfortunate because at their 40% that they used to be, it would actually be cheaper to order on K-Town with shipping included per album than it would be to order them. Whoa, this is so pretty. This shot in general. Also, Yuta has a belly button piercing. <laughs> Does Yuta have a, is this real? You got a belly button piercing, sir? But also his butterfly tattoo is beautiful. But yeah, um, it looks like their discounts are different. So now it's no different than me just buying from an American-based website. So I'm not sure where I'm going to be buying from, how much I'm going to pick up, etc. This photo, insane. Utah, insane. Insane. Fat check. Utah is actually insane. This outfit is so cool. I love this a lot. But yeah, that's just the same. I'm going to slow down on buying because I'm not sure where I'm going to be buying from. We got Doyoung. For a second, I thought I didn't even have a card in here. I was like, um, uh, hmm. That's why I filmed these videos. No, I'm just kidding. I would film a video, though, if I was not actually filming for um, YouTube. Because it is good practice to film a video of your opening stuff. Especially if there's any issues. And me and K-Town do not um, play nice with each other. So... Better safe than sorry. But yeah, there's a couple albums I want to buy. I would like to get, of course, the wavy comeback. I would love to get Taeyeon Solo. I love this photo. This outfit, interesting, but this photo is so cool. Ooh, we got Utah. Look at Utah. This is, this is a good photo card lineup. This is a really good photo card lineup so far. I really like these. Um, I want to get the B.I. comeback. I want to get Wavy. I want to get Taeyong. Or Taemin. <laughs> um, I think that's about it. I think that's all the ones that I that I would like to get. But we'll see. I might wait and pick up a couple around Christmas or Black Friday. Or just kind of see what I happen to stumble into. So videos might be a little bit more sporadic. Though, I also try to fill in some content here and there with other videos that are not unbought scenes. Though, I personally like unbought scenes the most. And this is a channel that I make for myself because these are what I like to watch too. Um, ooh. Ooh, getting a duplicate of this Utah. Kind of, kind of a crazy move. <laughs> I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for a dupe Utah. But yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out as we go. I have had a lot of stuff going on in October. Actually, every month this year, I think I've had a lot going on. But October's been quite busy. I have a another convention thing that is coming up um, Thursday night through to Sunday. So I'm gonna be unavailable to film anything then. And I'm gonna try to film one more video tonight to get edited and then upload it later this week. But other than that, we'll just see what comes in the mail and what I pick up here and there and go from there. Might be doing some sorting photo cards or just collection browsing or something. Ooh, 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 ooh. And we end it this video with a non-dupe 
we got Taehyung with a really long message. Some of these members only gave us a signature. So kind of curious as to why some were signature only and some were long messages. But that was the whole unboxing for this. So I'm going to lay out these photo cards. We're getting ideas to what we have pulled. Zoom out just a little bit more. Okay, so these are all the photo cards that we've pulled, which means we have two, three, three members. Can't count, apparently. <laughs> we have three members that we did not get for the S minis. And then we did pull a Yuta and a Jungwoo, but it seems we need Heichen, Johnny, and Jungwoo for the S minis. So I promise I will try to be better updating my Mercari. I know I say that every video and I have yet to do that. I sold some cards to a friend here locally. So I also need to update my Mercari to move a couple of things off of it and then just upload a bunch of new stuff on there. But if I remember, I'm good. I will try to get these three duplicates up by the time next month starts. That's my goal. My goal is to have Mercari update it by the time we are in November. <laughs> Um, so cross your fingers that I can follow through on that and thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.